Yesterday was the federal fund rates, which Fed kept interest rates on change at 5.50% basic point. And also we have the FOMC statement in the FOMC press conference. If you watch this very press conference, it is called that Fed trigger a mixed reaction in the market. And this can be very, very clear on the 4R chart. If you look at how the market move from this very point to the upside and then come back down a little bit right now, we are seeing the market within this level of support. Is the market going to move upward after that very rate decision yesterday? I'll be talking about all of these in today's video. So definitely watch this video till the very end. If this is your first time on this channel, please support this channel with a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more updates like this. Also, check the channel for other forex videos and technical analysis on the euro usd chart right here if you look at the one day chart at this very point it is covered that prior to the fed interest rates it discovered that the market have been moving back to the downside after this progressive move to the upside so market move all the way from here to the upside and then retracement impulsive move and then we have this very move right now and you discover that this very move is becoming so sluggish approaching this very level of support now one thing very important about this very movement is that the market is making it to it point where it moved from in the past so at this very point is a critical support which i am expecting the market to bounce up from any moment soon especially next week so from next week you should be checking for a buy opportunity on the market especially on the lower time frame for the market to begin to have an impact for the market moving to the upside so this is what you must have to pay attention to right now remember the market is already at this very point of support before the federal fund rate so like i said in one of my videos that anytime you see the federal fund rate either fed kept interest rates on change or there is a hike and before that event the market has been coming back to the downside then it also means that what the market was expecting has already happened and so therefore the reverse is what is going to happen so right now what i am expecting on this very chart euro usd one day chart is the market to bounce up from this area for the next move to the upside i am not saying we're going to see an impulsive move to the upside because i am not expecting that much move to the upside on euro usd because if you look at the one week chart the market is about for a good correction to the downside so what i am expecting right now is the market to move from this very point of support and where the market is right now because we have a little rejection from this very area after yesterday news so expect a movement from here to the upside next week this is what i am paying attention to right now on this very chart and if you go back to the four hour chart which is very very crucial it is covered that the market did not really move after the fed interest rates and also the fmc meeting so this is very very important what that means is the market reaction have already happened right here and right now we expect the market to begin to move to the upside so before you trigger that very buy opportunity that i talk about on the one day chart on the lower time frame for example the four hour chart one hour chart expect a breakout first of all so market have to break out of this very area where we see the market spike out from during the news event so once you see a breakout of this very level then it will be a nice time for us to look for buy opportunity on euro usd so what you need to do now is to wait for the market to move upward a little bit creating a new high higher than this very spike from the news event then a retracement to the downside will give us a buy opportunity for us to enter the trade to the upside so this is what you must have to watch right now on your chart and this is what i am paying attention to on the euro usd for our chart don't buy the market from where the market is right now except you want to take on the straight risks i am expecting the market to move upward but that movement must be very significant for us to take a trade and we need to see that very high then retracement and then continuation back to the upside that is when we will now take a buy position after retracement in this kind of formation so this is what i am looking out for right now like i said if you look at this very news yesterday 
Fed kept interest rates unchanged and that is what the market was expecting because that was the forecast of 5.50 basic point which was actually what the previous was and the actual turned out to be the same so what do you expect from the market right now market have been coming back to the downside all this way so there should be a change in market direction at this very point to the upside and that is what i am expecting right now on this very chart expect the market to buy upward and then retracement back to the downside and then they give us a buy opportunity for the market to continue that very movement to the upside and one very important thing i want to share with us today as well is on gold usd okay so on gold right here market has been moving upward as well from this very point to the upside retracement come back to the upside and it has been creating higher highs so the market is in an uptrend but right here we see something very different so market move all the way from here impulse retracement impulse retracement impulse and then come back to the downside right now market is within this very zone what i am expecting from this market is the market to move up a little bit now that movement will not last long and the reason is because if you look at the one week chart you discover that the market is going to have good correction before the next move to the upside on good for the one week chart but right here on the one day chart expect the market to move to the upside so regardless of what we are seeing this candle doing right now i am expecting this market to come down a little bit and then move upward okay creating a little new high before the next move to the downside so that means on the lower time frame for example the four hour chart all you need to do right now is to pay attention to buying the market okay on the lower time frame so a good buy zone is this very area of support right here so this is what you must have to pay attention to right now on your chart so from this very point is a good buy zone right at this very area so allow the market to move down a little bit into this very zone of critical support and then from this very area will be a nice place to buy the market from to the upside and your stop loss must be below this very area we see spike from in the market before the market moved to the upside around this very area this is what you must have to pay attention to right now on the gold chart market is going to come back to the downside and then present to us a buy opportunity for the market to move upward so this is where you can take a buy position and on euro usd expect the market to move upward wait for that very move to happen creating a new high higher than the spike from the news at this very area and then on retracement will be a nice time for you to buy the market for the market to move to the upside so this is what i am paying attention to and watching right now on the euro usd for our chat and the gold for our chat as well so this is what you must have to do right now in line with your strategy okay you have to trade in line with your strategy if this is your first time on this very channel please support the channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more updates like this also check the channel for other forex videos and educational content if this is your new time here check the description of this video you see a recommended broker and register with a broker that have good track record if you want to learn how to trade forex professionally check the description of this video you see contact and reach out to me and enroll for my forex trading course thank you very much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next video